Kakadosh Bokatov. We're continuing with the halachot of Kiddush. The halachah Barua brings down here in Siman Petet. You're allowed to drink water in the morning when you wake up before Tefillat Shachrit, just like during the weekday. Because as long as you didn't pray Shachrit, so therefore there is no obligation of Kiddush. And therefore you're also permitted to drink whether it's going to be tea or coffee before Shachrit. And even if you're going to put sugar, and people that usually put milk in their coffee or their tea, they're also allowed to put milk in coffee or the tea, or the same halacha would apply if they're going to be uh, weak and they want to be lenient, right, to drink, so they have what to rely on. Now, this is all to do with before tefillat shachrit. What about if somebody wants to eat before musaf but after shachrit? So it says, Harotzeli tom davar ma'achalo mashke, kodon tefillat musaf be shabbat. If somebody wants to eat, where it's going to be eat some food or drink a, a liquid before tefillat musaf, tzarich lekadesh ala kos kodem sheitam. So you have to do kiddush ala kos before eating or drinking. V'yochal kazei paso kazei petavim bakislim kadei lekayim itzal kiddush b'mikom seuda. Here you have another technical problem. Once you pray shachri, now you're obligated in kiddush. But now let's say I want a cup of water. Or I want a coffee. So I'm going to do Kiddush after Shachrit. And that in essence we're going to speak about in a few minutes. That's what we do on Simchat Torah. Or some people do it on any day where it's going to be a very long Tashkenazim. Some of them do it also on Rosh Hashanah. Because some Ashkenazim, they have the Minag that on Rosh Hashanah, their Tefillah goes until 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a very, very long Tefillah. So what they do is, is that they'll do Kiddush and then they'll continue their Tefillah. So they'll do Kiddush right after Shachrit. Right? And then they'll continue. Now here, you have a problem. Why? They're obligated in Kiddush because they already did Shachrit. But now they want to have a coffee. So okay, so they're going to do Kiddush. But now they do Kiddush, and then they're going to drink coffee. Where's Kiddush? Bimkom Seuda. Remember that there's halacha, that a person always has to have Kiddush. Bimkom Seuda. So Licha Techila, right? Technically, Shitat Rambam and the Gaon is that they have to do Kiddush Bimkom Seuda. Bread. That's the only thing which is Seuda. Maran doesn't pass like that. Maran is posek. That even with mezonot, as long as you have a kezait of mezonot and you make it al mechia, that is kiddush mikom seuda. But diavad, but diavad, there is a shita brotan and the that if you're going to drink a raviit of wine, right, or grape juice, so then that's also kiddush mikom seuda. And there we get into that it should be a raviit besides the raviit of your what you're doing for the kiddush, or is it the same raviit that you're doing for the kiddush? There also you have a machlok there exactly what to do. But here you have a problem of Kiddush Bimkom Suda. So he says, Bimkom Akom, Kevin Shalada, Kabu Poskim, Lochala Chovat Kiddush, Shalachar Tfila Musaf. There are some Poskim that hold that Kiddush is not only, is not after Shachrit, it's after Musaf. So he says, therefore, after Musaf, Yachzor Vikadesh Biveto Alakos. You should do Kiddush again on the cup. Because since there are some Shitot that the Kiddush is only obligated after Musaf and not before Musaf, you have to do it again. To be Yotzei Chovah, those she taught. So he says, because the Kiddush and Shachrit, anyways, is only going to be Burepri Gefer. So you don't say, Safek Berachot Lakel. So therefore, then you have the Seudat Shabbat in your house. So it comes out one more time. According to what we say in Halacha, once after Shachrit, you have the obligation of Kiddush. But there's a Machloket. Some people say it's only after Musaf. So what do you do? Right after Shachrit, I want to have a tea or a coffee. Before Musaf. So here I would have to do Kiddush. And if I do Kiddush, I would have to have Kiddush Minkom Suda. So there you have all the halachot of Kiddush Minkom Suda. Whether it's going to be, I'm going to have grape juice, I'm going to have, whether it's going to be mezonot, and I have to make sure I'm going to make a la or a la gefen, or a gefen. Then what happens is, is later on, when I want to come and have my meal in my house, again I have to do Kiddush. Why do I have to do Kiddush again? Because since there are some shitot that hold that it's only after Musaf, I have to do it again. Ah, safek b'rachol ha'ken. If the majority of the shitot hold that it's after shachrit, that's it. He says, no. Since anyway, the kiddush of the morning is anyway b'repre gefen, according to everybody, you could do it again. There's no problem of doing b'repre gefen. You just come, you drink again wine, and that's it. And you nigmar asipur, you finish the story. So therefore, again, you're going to do it at home, and then you're going to have seudat shabbat. So a person that did the next halacha is a person that's sick, and that he needs to have bread or ugot before shachrit. There's a machloket in the Rabotero Acharonim, if he's obligated kiddush or not. Lalacha nireh. So here he says, since again there's other machlokot, he says what you should do is a person mamash has to have a meal, whether it's going to be pat or ugot, he says a person should come and he should actually have 
Bore Priya Gefen is Shemek Kiddush before Shachrit, eat a Seuda, say Shachrit to Musaf, and then again do again the Kiddush afterwards. So here you see a special halacha by Kiddush in the morning, that since it's only going to be Bore Priya Gefen, there's a special halacha that will keep on coming and telling you to do it again, just to be Yitzhak Chova, the other Shitot, but as we already mentioned, now to do it Tfilat Musaf, we already said that to do the eating before Tfilat Musaf, we have to remember that it's only going to be mutal litom, afilu teima sheyesh ba kedel yisod atalev, aval asul yisod seudat keva, more than a kabetzav pat before Musaf, which means that it's very important to remember, even if it is that you want to come, and you want to have a Kiddush, right, before Musaf, you're allowed to, and you could even have something which is sudat, you know, lisod talev, but you're not allowed to have sudat keva va kabetzav pat. I mean, you're not allowed to have a real suda with bread more than a kabetza before Musaf. That would only have to be after Musaf. You could have mezonot, whatever you want. You could have whatever the... But, sudat keva pat with kabetza, you could not have before Musaf. You could only have it after Musaf.